Hi guys, Grant here with Reeds Outdoors. Today we're going to do a little assembly video with our Garmin LiveScope ice fishing bundles. So just a general kind of how-to, and I know we do have a, a few different bundles out there, whether it be a 106 or a 93 ice kit versus an all-season. You know, a lot of those pieces are going to be the same here, so you'll be able to apply this knowledge to kind of all of our different kits. To start off, you're going to get a package most likely that looks like this guy here. The contents of that package are what's on the table here. So first off, you'll have the Finger Tech Shuttle. You are going to have a Garmin LiveScope Plus system, which is the, the LiveScope Plus transducer and black box. You're going to have a head unit, whether it be a 93, the 106, or if you got just the conversion kit, you would not have a head unit. And then we have the amped battery and charger. You will also have a um, an additional little bag of hardware that does have a couple of spade connectors that we'll use for our power caters later on. You know, a couple of our first production runs when we put these together, they, they were missing that. Um, it's nothing special that we need. You can get it at any hardware store just for the, you know, the, the spades to go to our battery. Um, if you'd like us to send you some, we do have them on hand. Just give us a call. We can get you taken care of there. Uh, but yeah, now it's going to go ahead and get into the assembly of this guy here. So step number one, we will start with our fin gear tuck shuttle, kind of getting him taken out, getting our battery in place and our power cables up and running. All right. So our first step, like we said, is going to be kind of getting our tech shuttle out from fin gear and getting him disassembled. So we're able to get our battery, our power cables and our quick connect charger all hooked up on the inside. So this is what the fin gear shuttle will look like out of the box. So the first step, we're going to remove this front plate by taking these two screws here off. And then you should be able to take that plate off like that guy. Then we're going to take the bottom tray with this back section you now off by removing the four screws on the bottom here, which will have nuts on the inside. There will also be four on the back. So I already did that here on this guy. So we can go ahead and get into the next step, which is going to be getting our battery situated. So we have our battery, the 30 amp wide by amped, which I'm going to lay kind of just like this in this kit. So he doesn't really slide forward and back. And then we will have a Velcro strap, which is located you know, wrapped around that original fin gear setup out of the box. So pretty much the next step is going to be to locate our power cables, which there will be two power cables that we'll be using. You will find one in your LiveScope Plus system box. This will be a red connector with a two pin power cable. You will find another one in your head unit box. If we are getting a bundle with a head unit, this will be a very similar looking cable, but four pins. All right. So the next step is going to be to take your Amped Outdoors battery charger. There will be a two pin kind of a bunny ears deal here that you were going to originally put on the battery. And then the next step, you're going to take the red and red, black and black power cables from each of these two separate batteries, and you're going to put them into those original spade connectors, as you can kind of see here in our kit. You're going to kind of put them in there and then kind of get your crimp, kind of secure them down as best you can. And then that's, that's going to be what we're doing with our power here. Like I said, this is our quick connect that we took out of that ant box, which is going on the bottom. Those two are all spliced together on the top piece here. And that battery is in place, so we are going to go ahead and get him Velcro down to secure him. Perfect. Yep, now he shouldn't be going anywhere. And then the last step here, we are going to... And before we take this plate and put him back into position here, we find it a lot easier to kind of install the gimbal bracket for our uh, for our head unit before going any farther. So you will find that in your head unit box. This is what it looks like here. And pretty much we are just going to be fastening him onto the plate just like this. Now remember, this plate is going to be going in like this. So please have this open section here you now with your screen facing towards you. I'm just going to go ahead and pop the actual quickly put off, give myself a little extra room here. Perfect. And now I am just going to get these four bolts in place with my gimbal bracket. All right, so now that we have our gimbal bracket mounted to the frame here, we have our battery 
connected. We have all of our power cable splice and everything. But before we take this guy and fit him back in our frame here and start piecing them together, the very next step is going to be taking our black box out of our life scope package. And we are gonna go ahead and get him attached to the back of this guy, just like this, while we still have access to some of these areas here to get those nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll get going. All right, so now we have our black box attached to the back of the frame here. Um, I still have my battery in place. I've spliced my power cables together with our little provided connectors there. We have the amped quick connect charger on. So yeah, we got our quick release bracket on the frame here. So now we are gonna be ready to kind of start piecing this stuff together. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna take this power cable for one of these guys. I'm gonna try to kind of set them on this side of the battery. I'm gonna have my second cable on this side just to keep things from you know, kind of evenly spaced out. But before I get this frame on there, you better remember to connect your quick connect charger here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get him in place here. Perfect. And now I'm gonna kind of leave myself enough power cable up top here where I can still reach my battery or my black box connection and whatnot. I'm gonna kind of do the same deal on this side. Looks like I got him pulled through here. So now I'm going to try to carefully push everything in here and get this frame back into place. So now we have that front plate back together. We have this whole system set up here, our quick connect charger done. We have our two power cables coming out the back here. So now the next step is going to be kind of getting our gimbal bracket on there for the quick release cradle on the Garmin and then kind of connecting the, uh, the cables from the head unit and the black box. So just a reminder, there are going to be three cables coming out of your black box. There will be two cables out of the back of the unit. So there will be a transducer cable that will connect the black box. Then there will be a six foot network cable that you will find in the, uh, the LiveScope Plus system box that will use a 12 inch adapter. And then that network is going to connect to the back of your graph there. And then we each have the power cables here, which we'll plug in once we're finished up with the network and the transducer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my gimbal bracket here. Now I'm gonna start kind of popping him into place and then I'm gonna pull out my uh, network cable and the transducer cable and kind of start getting that started here. Alright. So here we have our transducer cable. We are going to do that last. And then here is the six foot network cable with uh, the small connectors that we'll need to connect the network to the black of the graph. And then here is that adapter cable I was looking about, or talking about, excuse me, that'll kind of have your ethernet connection there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these kind of unwrapped. So I think I'm gonna start by getting our power kind of set up here. So we have a four pin that should be going to the back of our unit here so i'm going to go ahead and take that four pin i'm going to run him back here and kind of get him threaded here plug him in and tighten up those threads so they're secure perfect and i'm going to do the same thing on the power for this guy i'm going to keep it right there That's done. I'm going to get my network cable back out here. Kind of get him straightened out. So pretty much I'm going to start with the network cable and just wrap around. I mean, it's a six foot cable, so I'm going to wrap him around the frame here. And then once he's done, I'll pretty much wrap my transducer cable right over the top of that. So I'm going to try to get him straightened out here. Perfect. 
and I'm going to start by plugging in my network end. Get him threaded down here. Perfect. And now I'm going to take this end, which should connect right to my other end there. And there is a threading there, so you can kind of tighten them back up once you get them into position here. There it goes. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to start wrapping him around the frame. Down, just the power cable out of the way here. going to be good and I'm going to kind of snake him back through this little joint here so I can get it plugged in. So he'll be going to the port here that says Panoptics, which is also their kind of their network port. Perfect. So he is good to go there. So we should have everything we need plugged into the back of the graph. So now we just have to add our transducer, and then we'll get him wrapped around that key or that frame as well. plug him into the transducer port again get him locked in with their threading and then it's going to be up to you about how much transducer cable you want to leave available you know i usually leave myself about six to eight feet just so i'll have plenty to go down my ice pole and then have you know enough room to run them under a house or wherever i'm going to run them to but that'll be completely up to you and what you're going to be using them wrap him up here and I did not have a pull mount out right here I know we are doing a couple different options with the fin gear ice fishing pull mount in the summit so I'm going to kind of you know leave that up to you the summit is fairly straightforward for attaching that transducer pretty much it'll have your single pin and there's actually a mount already on the pull mount for the summit and then of course if we're using the fin gear we'll have to use the uh pretty much the the pull mount kit that comes in this live scope box here but yeah, so this should just about be our finished product. So I, I'd say I have about yeah, six or seven feet there, which I'm okay with as a overall length. So the last thing I'm going to do is take my head unit and kind of snap him into position here. See if he'll fire up and everything works and get my green lights on my live scope system, which tells me everything is functioning. power that is a good thing and then i'm also going to check i'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here but that status light there once you first power him up he will typically blink a few times red once we get the green light then we are connected and everything is properly fastened and good to go we'll give them a second here he's still firing up Perfect, we got the green light, so he is up and functioning. Uh, this is a brand new unit, so of course we'll have to go through our whole little setup deal. Perfect, so yeah, it looks like everything's running. I'll go to my live scope. I have my live scope screen here. Of course, nothing's in the water, so I'm not going to get a reading. But yeah, I'm getting a good voltage reading from the battery. It's connected live scope. I got the green light on my black box. So this is what the final product should look like. So you do have your kind of cables conveniently wrapped around the frame here. Our battery and storage is everything there. And then, of course, we do have our battery charger, which you will kind of connect right into that piece there for charging. So we don't have to get into that compartment at all. But yeah, that should be a general assembly video on our kind of our Garmin LiveScope bundles here. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope it helped you out in getting the assembly here done and getting out in the water. Thanks again. Bye.